Hi, I'm Steve from the Stone Crafting Workshop and today I'm going to do a user review on this. It's the Titan 653 SDS drill and hammer and it's a really good tool and I think you're going to find it interesting just the sort of jobs it'll do. So let's go and have a look. <music> series of use and review uh, power tool reviews I like to have owned a tool for a while and used it before I review it doesn't seem to me to be any point in reviewing a tool straight out of the box unless you're going to use it a lot and I've owned this one for several weeks now and it's done a fair bit of work and I'm very pleased with it this SDS drill from Screwfix the Titan is a 240 volt drill uh, 1500 watt motor, so it's pretty powerful. It comes in its own plastic carrying case and included in the box is a book of words with a pair of um, brushes, replacement brushes. That's always slightly worrying, but Triton tools have a good reputation. It comes with a set of five SDS drills, masonry drills, for specifically for use with this machine. And it comes with two chisels, a flat chisel and a point. Haven't used the point yet at all, but I've used the flat chisel a lot. It also comes with a depth gauge, a single speed, but variable. So when you take the button, and there's a variable button down here, a turn screw, that adjusts the speed from slow up to fast. And that gives you quite a lot of flexibility. It comes with a handle on the front, which is adjustable, and you need that. This is a powerful drill, and if it jams, you need to be able to hold it hard to let the clutch work. It's got a safety clutch. It also comes with an M14 standard drill chuck and key, should you wish to use ordinary drills that you've already owned that are not SDS. SDS, incidentally, stands for slotted drill shaft or slotted drill system, depending on what, which article you read. Basically, it's a quick release system. You simply pull back on the um, chuck, it's spring loaded, you put the chisel in and turn it, or the drill, and it's now locked in there. But importantly, it's allowed to move up and down. And what that does it reinforces the hammer action. It has three SDS functions. As a standard drill, it will just simply drill. As a hammer, when you put it on its hammer setting, which you do from this switch here, um, it will either act as a chisel or it will act as a hammer drill, an SDS hammer drill. And those are the three functions. Well, that's pretty much all there is to it. Let's see how it works in practice. This is about a half inch drill bit and it's just walking through this. And there you go. The bottom line is that this is not a heavy duty demolition hammer but it is ideal for nibbling away at uh, concrete and concrete walls and blocks and what have you and uh, it's a lot easier than using a hammer and chisel.
already said how hard these blocks are and I'm not kidding. Um, let's try the drilling function. And this is what SDS drills were originally designed for. It's their main purpose in life. is drilling very hard concrete and masonry. win the tray call a piece of cake. Let's try it with a much bigger drill bit and interestingly this is an old drill which I've had for about 20 years and I'm actually wondering if it'll fit in this SDS fitting and the answer is yes it does. Well, <laughs> it's ridiculously easy. This is a lump of precast concrete lintel. It's got metal reinforcing bars through the middle. And this is the thing you're drilling into at home when you're trying to put the curtain helmet up and you're drilling away and nothing's happening. The drill's just bouncing around on the surface. It's really hard concrete. Let's try the SDS drill on a small drill bit. It's a quarter inch drill bit, the sort of thing you'd be using at home. <laughs> well, try a bigger one. See how that works. <laughs> I think that as well. Let's have a look. Yep, that knocked hell out of it. This is really hard concrete. It's what SDS drills were designed to do. And this one, the Titan, does it superbly well. I spent two years fixing marble without one of these using an old Black & Decker uh, professional Black & Decker drill and at the end of the every working day your hands would be numb. I do wish I'd had one of these. Should we try the really big one? The one inch one? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Let's see what happens. Let's not do it too slow. Let's try and get through as quick as possible. <laughs> okay. Enough said. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this review. Um, if you did enjoy it, um, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any questions about this SDS drill, Ask them in the comments box below and I'll do my best to answer all the queries. If you, um, if you really liked it and you want to see more user reviews where I use tools and then review them, subscribe to my channel uh, and I'm going to be doing a lot more. Uh, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again sometime hopefully.